Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Monday live session. It's lovely to have you here. This is our second week of regular live classes, so it's great to see some new names coming up and some familiar names as well. So just to answer a couple of questions, um, you won't need to wear trainers. So Angie Sharp, who's asked a question, you don't need trainers. You can have grippy socks or you can have bare feet for this workout. All right, and other than that, I think that's all you need to know. So what we're gonna do is get started. We'll do our 30 minutes of Pilates. And at the end of the session, I'll come back here, sit here. And if you have any questions at all, Pilates related questions, how to do a certain exercise, how to change an exercise up or down to suit you, then that's the time to ask, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start standing. I can see it's very bright here. I'm hoping you can see me all right. I've taken my exposure down quite a lot and it's also super hot in the UK. It's actually 27 degrees where I am at the moment uh, and we have no air conditioning, so it's oh, super hot. Okay, so let's have the feet hip width apart and let's just take our band and you're going to have it not too um, wide. You want your hands about here. And we're just gonna start with a really simple warm up. So standing up nice and tall, let's roll your shoulders up, back and down. Now, as we bend those knees, we're gonna take the arms up and bring them down. So you're gonna inhale, bend, exhale, lower. Bend and lower. So it's just your warm up, lift and lower lift and lower. So I'm gonna go this way so you can see, and lower, lift and lower. Two more, lift and lower, lift and hold it here. Now I want you to exhale and try and pull your hands out to the sides. So you're pulling on that band. Inhale, control it to come back. Inhale, pull out, so knees are staying bent. Exhale back, out, and back, so working on your shoulder strength, and back for four, three, two, one. Now straighten the legs, leave the arms where they are, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, we're gonna roll down. So we're gonna chin to the chest, the arms are coming down as well. If you're able to, you're gonna keep your legs straight. If you tighten the hamstrings, please bend the knees, Think of the head, the band, going down towards the floor. Then take a breath in there. Breathe out, unravel the spine. Keep a little bit of tension on the band. And come back up. All right, we can do the knee bend. So bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. That's it. Good. So let's add the breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, two more. Good. Keep those knees bent. All right, now bring your band down to shoulder height. So wrists and elbows and shoulders are in line. Now try and pull it out to the side. Pull and back. Pull and back. Pull and back, that's it. Shoulders down, tummies in. Good, four, three two, one, well done, and come on up. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is a nice little side movement. So we're gonna lift our arms back up and maybe widen your hands just a little bit, all right? And we're gonna do side stretch. So we're gonna go over to the side, really flexing that spine, lateral flexion. Then you're gonna pull the bottom arm down Pull down, so looking towards that hand and lift back up. Pull down and lift back up. Pull down and up. Can you hear my shoulder crunching? <laughs> down and up and lift that spine up. Let's get those shoulders down other way. So tilting over the other way. Now pull the arm down and up. Pull down and up. Pull down and up, one more, pull down 
and up, lifting all the way up. Now from here, we're gonna bring the band down so it's in line with your shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna take a breath in. As you exhale, I want you to keep the band in front of the chest and turn the whole chest to your right. Exhale, come back to center. Other way, inhale over. Exhale back to center. So just holding the band in this position is working all your arm and shoulder muscles. And over and back, just two more. Over and back and over and back. Bring your arms down. Let's roll those shoulders up, back and down. Well done. We're gonna come straight down onto the floor now. So come down onto the floor. Lie yourself down and place uh, your band right across your hip bones. Okay, so it's on those hip bones. And then you're going to put it in between the thumb and the forefinger and you're going to reach your hands forward. Take your head and shoulders down. So we're creating resistance now for the legs and the glutes. Okay, so we're going to do our pelvic curl. You're going to take a breath in. Breathe out, tilt the pelvis towards you and press up. Now pressing the hips into the band. Now if that's too tight, too strong, then loosen it up. If you're not feeling it enough, then you bring your hands closer together. Okay, take a breath in, breathing out and slowly coming back down. So you're gonna inhale there, exhaling to tilt and roll that spine up. Push up through those hips, inhale, exhale. Slowly coming down through the spine and onto your mat. Good. And again, so deep breath in, breathing out, tilting. And as you lift up, press those hands down. So we create that resistance for the muscles. Inhale. Exhale. As you come back down. Two more. Deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. And roll that spine up, inhale, exhale. As you come down, last one, deep breath in, breathing out to tilt and roll that spine up. Now keep the hips in the air. Let's lift the arms up and reach them all the way overhead. And then bring them back, place the band over their thighs and pull down. And again, lift, reach overhead. So keep the bottom in the air and bring the band back and press down. Two more, overhead, reaching overhead. And come down. And this time reaching overhead all the way over, leaving the hands on the floor. Take a breath in, exhale coming all the way down through the spine and to your neutral position. Now we're going to lift our legs up one at a time. So right leg into tabletop, left leg into tabletop, bring those knees together. And I want you to leave the arms where you, ca uh, where you can or where they are, should I say. All right, any issues with the shoulders, then of course, bring your hands down. Otherwise, let's keep them there, spine twist. So you're gonna inhale, taking your knees over to the right. Exhale to come back. So keep it small so you can control your body. And really think about using those deep core muscles. So we're going over to come back. We're pulling everything in. You don't need to go far to really get good, strong work. And back, good. Inhale, over. Exhale, back. Inhale, over. Exhale, back. Last two, over. Exhale, back. And over. Exhale back, well done. Take the right leg down, take the left leg down. I'm gonna bring those arms over and I'm gonna show a really nice way to do the chest lift to really focus on the core. So you're gonna get the band, and I'm sorry if this messes up your hair, it's gonna mess mine up. You're gonna put the band behind your head, okay? 
So you're cradling your head and make sure it's in a place where you really feel that your head is supported. You're gonna bring your arms in slightly and create a little bit of resistance for the biceps. So can you see I'm not resting, I'm pulling away from my head. So now I can lift my head up and it's completely stress-free, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, looking towards my knees, and then I'm going back down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the chest lift. So you're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in, lifting your head, but really pulling the tummy in as far as you can, trying to really lift up with that upper body. Inhale there and exhale, take it back down. Just gonna do three more, but I want them to be really good quality. So take a breath in, breathe out, draw the abdominals in, don't let your pelvis move, just keep pulling the belly in as you keep lifting that head up, looking towards your knees, inhale. Exhale to come back down, deep breath in, exhaling to lift. Inhale to hold. Exhale to come back down. And last one, deep breath in and exhale to lift. Inhale to hold and exhale back down. I want you to open your arms just a little bit so you can still see your hands uh, outside the corners of your eyes there. We're gonna add a rotation, still supporting the head. So take a breath in, breathe out, pull the belly button in, lift on up as high as you can. All right, now pulling away from the band, so pulling on that band slightly to support the head, you're gonna exhale and turn your ribs to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, ribs to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, ribs to the right and center. Exhale, ribs to the left and center. Last two. And center. And center, take a deep breath in and exhale, come on down. Well done. All right, so take that band away. If you need to adjust your hair, then please do. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the a little bit of leg work. All right, I want you to pick both legs up and put the band around your feet. And you're gonna have your feet just slightly apart. You're gonna be holding the band. And this is gonna be like work we do on the Pilates Reformer. So this is my version of kind of Reformer work on the mat with the band, okay? So we've got our elbows down. We're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna breathe out and press forward. So you're pressing your toes forward. Your legs are gonna straighten and then you're gonna come back. And your challenge is to send those legs forward without arching your back. So you might wanna go a little higher if you can feel your back arching. If you wanna challenge, then of course you go lower because it becomes a lot harder the lower you go and back good exhale out and back so you've got to resist with the hands it's making your legs and your bottom muscles work a little more because of all that resistance and back we can do two more out and back and out and back now just bring your heels together and bring your hands on the inside of your knees Keeping the heels together, press out. <sighs> Inhale back. So you're pressing out so the back of your knees touch. That's what you're trying to get to. And back. Out and back. Out and back. Good, two more. Out and back, one more. Out. And back, well done. Now bring your hands to the outside, straighten those legs up, and let's take the left leg out, send it along the floor, and bring that right leg into the air. So making sure your band is still flat around the legs. We're gonna do nice circles with the legs. So we're gonna go across the body, down, out, and up. Across, 
down, out and up. Now you can use the band to support the weight of the leg, especially if you have any hip flexor issues. You can also use it to challenge the hip by pressing into the band and creating a little bit of resistance. That's it, two. And one, coming down and back up. Let's reverse it. So we're gonna go out to the side, down, across and up. Out, down, across and up. Try and keep your left leg still. That's it, so we draw these lovely circles. We're gonna go three and two and one. Coming up, bending that left leg, lift it up, place it inside the band. Let's take the right leg away. So send the right leg along the floor. All right, just adjusting that pelvis, nice neutral position. Let's go across the body, down, out and up, across, down, out and up. That's it. So we're just nice big movements, just freeing up that hip. And two. And one, back to the center, let's go the other way. Out, down, across and up. That's it, good. And nice big circles. Well done, three more for three. And two, and one, coming up, well done. Let's bring the other foot up inside the band. Want that band nice and flat across the feet there. And we're gonna bring the feet down. Now, if you're someone that's tight in the hamstrings, you're gonna leave your feet there. If you've got flexibility, you're gonna have your legs straight. We're gonna roll up. So we're gonna breathe in to lift the head and the chest. Breathe out. Now you can use the band if you need to, to help you come up. I want you to come up and over, head down towards the knees. Then you're going to lift up so you've got a straight back. Now pull back on the band and think of your rib cage lifting and your eye line lifting and going to a little extension. Click, click, I can hear on my back. And then come up to your nice sitting neutral. So let's try that again. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in. Tucking under, so really mobilizing our lower back coming all the way down to the floor. Well done. Now you're going to inhale to lift your head. Exhale. Use your arms if you need to to come up. Keep pulling the tummy muscles in as you go over, crown of the head down towards the knees, unfolding your spine, lifting up. Now lift the eye line, lift the ribs, and let's go into a little back extension using the band for support. And then coming back to neutral, we'll do one more deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Coming down, keep those legs together. That's it, good. Then you're going to lift the head. Exhale, coming up. Folding forward, crown of the head down towards the knees. Unfold that spine, coming up. Now lift your eye line. And let's do a lovely back extension. Well done. And coming down. Very good. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into rolling. So I want you to bring your feet towards you. If you need a little moment of rest, then please do. I'm just gonna adjust my hair while you do that. So just wiggle your fingers a little. And then this is where the band can be so, so helpful with getting us into the rolling like a ball. Obviously, if you've got issues with your spine, you will not be rolling. You can do the previous exercise. If you wanna roll, let's bring those hands really close to the feet, bring your knees together, and then pull your feet in. I want you to tilt back until you can feel the weight on the back of the pelvis, and then float the legs off the floor. So first challenge is just holding this balance. You want your elbows by your side. All right, we're tucking into a little ball. Now to initiate your roll, you're gonna pull the feet towards you, tipping back. At which point you inhale, 
exhale to come up and try not to put the feet down. So you've got to use all your muscles to control this. Let's pull the feet in, tip back, roll. And come back up, good. Pull the feet in, tip back, roll. And come up, we're gonna do three more. Pulling in, tip, roll. And up, pulling in, tip, roll. And up, one more, pulling in, tip, roll. Well done. And coming up, now here's your challenge. I want you to see if you can extend your legs and separate them slightly. So you're going to need to bring your hands lower down the band and press your legs out into the band. Now we're gonna try rolling from here. We'll see what happens, yes? So we're gonna tip back, roll, coming forward. Now pull back with those arms, pull back with those shoulders and see if you can find that balance there. Good, tip back, roll. Come forward, pull back, pull back, pull back on that band to help you hold the position, to help you hold your legs. One more, tip back, roll. Forward, lift up, pulling back. All right, and from here, three pullbacks for three, two, one, bend your knees and calm down. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna scoot back slightly on the mat there. I know I'm challenging you today, but I know a lot of you said that you want more challenging workouts. So I'm trying to give you some variety. Okay, so we're gonna put the fans back around the feet. We're gonna have the feet slightly apart. And we're gonna have the hands, can you see, towards the end of your band, okay? So sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna do the spine stretch forward. So you're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna breathe out, take the chin to the chest, pulling the tummy muscles in and trying to flex your spine forward. Head going down towards your knees. Now at this point here, I want you to extend your arms as much as you can. So this is a tricep exercise. Lift your head and chest. So you're going to back extension and then bend the elbows as you come back up. Bit of a challenge, that one, isn't it? So take a breath in, breathing out into the chest, coming down as low as you're comfortable going. Now reach those arms back, work those triceps. Try and hold that as you extend the spine. And then when you come up, we're gonna bend those elbows. Good, one more time, deep breath in, breathing out into the chest, rounding, coming down, extending those arms, extending your back, and then bending the elbows as you come back up. Wonderful, all right, so let's take the band off the feet for a moment. Coming onto your side, all right, and all the way down. Now I've done this one before and I just think it's great for teaching us balance on our side. It's quite the challenge. So you're gonna lie yourself down, holding onto your band. You're gonna reach your legs out and we're gonna take one up, one arm, sorry, up in the air like so. Okay, this hand is down, so you're pressing down. Okay, and now you're going to reach the hand down behind you and bring it up. Reach it down and bring it up. Reach it down and bring it up. Now we're gonna bring the leg up, trying to stay balanced on our side. And down, bring the leg up and take it down. And bring the leg up and take it down. Now we're gonna try and do both together, arm and leg. Good, and two, that's it, and three, and down. Bring the hand forward, come on up, 
And we're going to try and do this. So this will be the side bend exercise. So I do this full arm. If you're not comfortable doing it on your arm, you can do this on your elbow, but you might need to bring the band slightly back underneath your elbow. Now, what you're going to do is take the band behind you. All right, so if you're on your elbow, just bring your elbow back slightly. If you're doing full arm, you're like this. Okay, we're going to reach the arm out now. You're going to breathe in, lifting up. Breathing out, you're taking the arm over, and then you're going to bring it back. Staying up, over, and take it back. And one more, over, and take it back, and bring yourself down. All right, let's do the other side. I know I'm challenging you. I'm hoping this is going to be okay for you guys. Obviously, move your band to make it work for you. All right, so we're going to do this, lifting up. Are you ready? So coming up, hold it there, band over and back, band over and back, band over and back, and come on down. Keep the band behind you because you're going to lie yourself down and do this exercise on the other side. Okay, so it's three of each. So we start with the band going behind you and up. Behind and up. Behind and up. Hold it there, leg. Lift up and take it down. Lift it up and take it down. Lift it up and take it down. Both together. That's it. Good. Two. One. Well done. Bring the arm down, rolling onto your front now. And we're almost there. And we're going to take the band behind us. Okay, so the band is going to lay across your back. And then I just want you to have your hands up and put the band across the palms there. Okay, and you want to have the hands about the width of your hip bones, okay? And then you're going to let your elbows come down. You're going to bring your feet together and you're going to turn your head towards me. All right, and we're going to do three pulses of the leg. So we're going to do one, two, three. As you inhale, reach the legs out and reach the arms out lifting the head, eye line down, and try and stretch the band apart. Now release that tension, turn the head the other way, bring the band down onto your back, and let's go for the legs. One, two, three, inhale, lift, and try and pull the band apart. Good, turn the head the other way, come down. Bending the knees for one, two, Three, extend, lift that spine, try and lift a little higher now. That's it. And come down for one, two, three, lift, reach, lift that back, lift that back, pull the tummy in, two more. And one, two, three, lift, extend, turn the head and back. And one, two, three. Lift, extend, wonderful, take the feet down. And let's take the band, pop it off to one side, hands under your shoulders, pushing up into a kneeling position there. All right, let's do a little cat stretch. So take a deep breath in, exhale, tucking under, tucking right under, that's it, good. Now sinking back. So bottom towards your heels, sinking your chest down, reaching out, take the head all the way down. And we're just going to rest here. Class is over, so just take some deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And 
exhale. And in your own time, let's draw the tummy muscles in, uncurling the spine and coming up to sitting. So thank you very much for joining me today. Do go ahead and press the like button if you enjoyed this workout. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you can think of anybody, friend, family member that you can share one of my workouts with, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe you're part of a Facebook group and you could put a link on there. Anything you can do to help grow our community would be wonderful. If you need to go, then have a wonderful day. If you want to stick around to ask me any questions or just say hello, I'm going to come and talk to you now. All right. So take care and I'll see you soon. Well done, everyone. Oh, I heard that was okay. It was slightly different to the version I planned to do. Um, but yes, I had about another five exercises I was gonna squeeze in, but we ran out of time today. Um, right, so I'm just gonna adjust my microphone. I'm hoping you can still hear me okay. Do let me know what you thought uh, in the chat there. Uh, and yes, I can see, oh, we've got a few people here. Uh, SW says, is there an alternative to the corkscrew move? Uh, the corkscrew move, um, the corkscrew. So the corkscrew is the two legs together, which we didn't do today. Is that the one you mean? Let me know in the chat and then I can, um, I can give you an alternative. Uh, Lily Mars, hello Lily, I know you were doing your ukulele streaming today, which unfortunately I didn't get a chance to see, um, but I've got some questions here, but I hope it went well for you. Uh, just to let you know, my dog's arrived, so she'll probably hang out there in the background. <laughs> um, okay, so you're going to sit down? Yeah, she's going to sit there, lovely. So yes, let me know uh how it went lily's saying i've got some friends doing the knee workout and also the covid recovery workout thank you rachel oh you're very very welcome sue de pinto hello sue nice to see you daisy hi daisy daisy says great workout thank you daisy glad you enjoyed it uh sue de pinto says great session love the band question on back with legs extended, should lower back press into the mat or arch? I'm never sure. Sometimes my back cracks a lot. Okay, this is a great question from Sue. So yes, when you are sending your legs out straight, when you are lying on your back, you really want to think about trying to press your back into the mat. I know in Pilates, we always talk about our neutral position, but I find for a lot of people, it's quite a fine line trying to be in neutral. And naturally, if you've got both legs in the air and extended, the weight of your legs is quite hard on the pelvis. So you will find your back will want to arch. So you do want to go the other way. So Sue, yes, press your lower back into the mat. OK, uh, and your back cracking. That's OK. That's actually a good thing. It just means that air is being released, nitrogen is being released and everything's loosening up a bit. So um, that's all good. In my dancing days, Sue, um, when we used to go to ballet classes, we always used to be quite competitive about how many times we could crack our hips or our legs or our back because it often meant, yeah, that's a release. So don't worry about it um, and enjoy. Uh, super. Um, I'm saying hello to Miss Nawi Mac. Hello. Uh, and she says, really great, Rach. It's not so hot in all of the UK, Northern Ireland, grey and overcast. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, sorry, it's Miss Snowy Mac, isn't it? Snowy Mac, beg your pardon. Sorry, it's overcast. Yeah, it's very sunny here, but because I'm in a kind of, not a secret location exactly, but I'm in a garage, so it looks like a garage on the outside, but this is what's on the inside. And although it works and it looks great, there's absolutely no ventilation. So it's, uh, it's currently, I'm just looking at my temperature gauge, it's 28 degrees in here at the moment. So it's pretty hot. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to go to um, some notes and questions. Kathy Freeman, oh, I've just got to tell everyone this if you haven't seen it already. Hi, Kathy. Kathy is improvising today with a pair of tights. 
Very, very good. Um, I love a bit of improvisation, Kathy. Let me know how it went. <laughs> That's brilliant. Nice to see you here, Kathy. Uh, Vicky Davis. Hello, Vicky Davis. Vicky's got a question. It says, will you do any lower back or chest focused classes in the future? Absolutely. I'm actually going to be filming a lower back workout um, Vicky tomorrow. I'm doing a big filming session tomorrow. So I try and film a batch of workouts at once. These ones are going to be shorter um, so that you can kind of squeeze them into beginning, middle or end of your day. But I will be doing a lower back workout. And absolutely, I'd be very happy to do a half hour one as well, Vicky. So yes, and thank you for uh, mentioning it. It's really good. Chest focused classes. Um, so Vicky, when you say chest focused, do you mean strengthening chest or stretching chest? Um, be good to know because there's kind of different options for those as well. But feel free to tell me because I love to get feedback and give you guys uh, what you want. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go to the top and say thank you very much to Cheryl from Virginia. Hi, Cheryl, who's wishing me good morning. She says it's very hot and humid in Virginia, um, and she loves the resistance band. So I hope you enjoyed that workout today, Cheryl. Uh, oh, Kathy, you're in Winnipeg. Are oh, you not in Berlin today? You're over in uh, the US uh, with your brother. Is he joining in? Um, be good to know. Uh, anyway, hopefully that workout went well for you. Do let me know. Vicky Davis here from California. Hi to you, Vicky. Uh, yes, yeah, so let me know in the chat, Vicky, about the chest focused one, uh, what you would like, and I'll see if I can find a way to do something for you. Sally, I'm going to see if I can say this right today. Greta Rex. I hope that's right. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, Sally. Lovely to have you here because I know you're with me on Friday. Andy Sharp. Andy Sharp says, hello, Rachel and everyone. Really looking forward to this. I've never done before. Angie, welcome. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. This class is kind of, I'm feeling my way through with this one because I know that a lot of people who've done my channel and been working out on my channel now for a couple of years, you're all a lot stronger. So I'm trying to find that balance between giving you a challenge, which maybe is a bit of a reach, but also giving you exercises you can do. So I hope you find it okay, Angie. Do let me know because I'm always happy to help. Okay, popping down the chat here. Calba, hello to you, Calba. Lovely to have you here. Millie E, uh, lovely to have you back. Glad you like the resistance band. Um, I might film one of these tomorrow as well because I can see that lots of you like working with the uh, resistance band. So that's good to know. Uh, Marianne Marcolongo, hello, Marianne. Lovely to see you again. Says, thank you for the Monday classes. I really like the variety you give us, Rachel. It keeps it interesting. Oh, thank you, Marianne. Well, I do love, you know, I've always loved movement. Um, and I've been moving since I was three. I did my first ballet class, I think, when I was three, nearly four, something like that. And I've moved ever since, whether it's been ballet or contemporary dance or aerobics classes or Zumba classes or gym. I've always done something. So that's over 50 years of exercise. So I kind of bring all that to the session. But my kind of first love uh, is Pilates. Well, no, my first love, actually, it's alive. My first love is dance. Uh, but now I'm a bit older. I have to kind of limit what I do. And my second love is Pilates. And I always think Pilates is like dancing on a mat, which lots of Pilates people say. It's a lovely expression. It's like a dance on a mat. So we're always trying to be creative and give you something different that targets the muscles. But do remember that every time I give you a workout, when I'm teaching you, in my head, I'm thinking about which part of the body is this working? Have we covered that muscle yet? Have we covered that muscle? So I'm always trying to make sure that whatever version or class I give you, we're still giving you a full body workout. So I'm really hoping you enjoyed it today. Uh, super. Uh, Dickie and Bess, Summer. Oh, Sumner, hello to you both. Uh, who say, love the variety and can be done anytime, day or night. Thanks. Well, you're very 
very welcome. Uh, Daylin, hello to you in New Mexico. Uh, and you say, fantastic, I'll be able to practice this in the PM. Thank you for these excellent workouts. You're very, very welcome, Daylin. SW, thank you so much for your donation today. All your donations, everyone, they really do make a difference. So even if you think, oh, I can only afford $2, it's only $2, that $2 really helps. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a sign of appreciation, but it also helps me keep doing this because obviously I kind of do this in the hope that I can keep going from the donation. So that's how it all kind of plays out. So thank you very much. Whatever you can give is very much appreciated. Uh, Rona Stevens, hi Rona. Thank you very much for your donation. Do let me know. I know you said you're going to be doing that soon. Uh, SW says, hi, Rachel and Pilates buddies. I've just finished the advanced workout and the RA workout. Had to modify for the knees, but they were right uh, for my hamstrings. Thank you for all that you do. It has helped me so much. Oh, you're very, very welcome. I'm so impressed that you've done them both. And thank you for letting me know that. It's really good to hear. It's lovely to hear that you now know how to modify things to work for your body, which is what we're all aiming for. It's because we can't all do an exercise the same way. We've all got issues in our bodies. And it's about working out how best to work with them so we can get the best out of our own well-being. So I really feel so happy when I read messages like that. So thank you very much for telling me, SW. Uh, super. Okay, going down the chat. Uh, Lily's here. Hi, Lily. You're going to do the workout tomorrow. So let me know, Lily, what you thought. Um, okay, going down, I can see Lily and Kerwin are chatting about ukuleles and guitars, which is wonderful. All right, so SW has asked if there's an alternative to the corkscrew move. So we didn't do the corkscrew move today, but um, I will show you for anyone who's interested because the corkscrew is in my advanced workout, isn't it, SW? Uh, so corkscrew move. Uh, is the move where you've got both legs in the air, you've got your hands out to the side, and these legs are locked together. You're moving from the waist, and it's quite a tough one on the le on the uh, hip flexors and also the lower back, the core, because you take both legs over to the side, so this hip is lifting, and then you circle around and back up, then you alternate the other way. Okay, so it's a good one for you all to learn. Modifications are make the circle really small like this. So legs are just in the air, but you're not really moving your pelvis that much. Or if you want to get the movement in the waist, then just bend the knees and think of your knees being the focus of it. So take the knees to the side, circle the knees around and come up. Take the knees the other way, circle the round and come up. And those would be my two suggestions for you to try, okay? Soften knees or bending the knees takes the load off the hips. So that's often a good way to do those exercises. And again, it really helps if you're tight in the hamstrings to, to soften those knees up. Um, okay, so I'm going down the chat. Um, we've got a hello to Boo. Lily, she's fast asleep already, but I'll try and get her to come and say hello at the end. Uh, Sue DePinto says, thank you for the Monday live session. Such a great start to the week. You're very welcome. Hello to Anne-Marie Doyle. Anne-Marie uh, saying, thanks, Rachel. You're very welcome, Anne-Marie. Millie e says, great workout. I love using the band. Thank you. Well, I think in that case, I might film one for you tomorrow. So there's a, there'll be another short one to come. Uh, Cheryl from Virginia says, love this. Really like the chest lifts with the band, but the three pulses with the bent knees before we extend um, the back. Why do the three pulses? I don't feel anything. Am I doing it wrong? Um, okay, so the pulses are often to um, make the muscles work a little more, to push your muscle to the point of exhaustion, which sounds awful, doesn't it? But by pushing it a little bit further, 
that's where the muscle growth happens. So that's what the three uh, pulses are like. Uh, and you're talking about the when we were lying on our front, weren't you? So the one where we're lying on our front, Sue, um, with the bent knees, where you want to be feeling it is here. It's a hamstring exercise. So essentially, if you bend your knees like this, in this position, you're working your hamstring. So if you put one hand just onto the back of the leg and bend and extend, you'll feel the hamstring activating. All right, and it's just a really good way to isolate hamstrings from glutes, okay? So you're really working on those hamstrings. So yes, it's not gonna be like a, a, a movement where you're gonna think, oh my gosh, that's really, really strong. But you would be surprised actually, Cheryl, how many people get cramped doing that in their hamstrings because there's a weakness down there. So clearly your hamstrings are good. So uh, don't worry about it. If you want to work a little harder, you can extend the legs, uh, Cheryl, without touching the floor, but people have to be very careful of their lower back with that. So I tend to teach it with the feet going down just because it kind of gives you a sense of how the movement works without kind of having to overthink uh, the positioning of the back. Um, so I hope that made sense. Uh, Angie Sharp says, loved it, thanks. You're very welcome, Angie. Uh, Anne Ellen says, this exercises were great and challenging. Good, I'm really glad you enjoyed them. Thanks for letting me know, Anne. Leslie Beckwith. Uh, oops, I've just lost that. Where have we gone? Leslie Beckwith. Um, bear with me, bear with me. My chat's just jumped. There you are. My son bought me a box of bands at the dollar store. Going to do this tomorrow. I've been working in the garden. Okay, a good one to do. So in terms of bands, Leslie, I would say medium resistance kind of works. Uh, it's quite strong on the arms, but it's also quite supportive on the legs. But if that doesn't feel right, then you can go light. Or if you're super strong, you can go strong. Okay, so let me know how that went for you. Um, okay, Sue says, thank you. You're always worrying about screwing up my back. Enough issues. Um, okay, yes, don't worry about it, Sue. You know what, Sue? I would say if you are worried about your back, it's not awful if you want to focus on pressing your back into the mat, because sometimes that helps remind your core to really be in position. And then as you get more confident and your uh, back starts to feel, or you're more confident in your back, should I say, I've done this with a lot of people. I get them to do the exercise a certain way until the body's almost forgotten about that issue in the back. And then we start trying to bring things into a bit more of a finite <clears throat> neutral position, etc. But don't worry, Sue. Do it like that because I, if that's what works for you, all good. Uh, lovely. He said, oh, you had a gymnast friend in high school who always cracked her back. Yes. Um, it used to be a bit of a game when we were kids, seeing how many times we could crack our back or our arms. Or do you remember at school, everyone used to show if they were double jointed, all that stuff. Um, brings back memories for me too, So, So hi to Sarah Runnicles. Hi, Sarah. Just wanted to say, Sarah, thanks so much for all your support on Instagram. It's lovely to see you there and uh, noticing what we're doing or feeding back information. If anyone else wants to follow me on Instagram, if you have Instagram, it's the same handle. It's the girl with the Pilates mat. So come and see me over there. I post things about our sessions, but I also post about other things in my life to do with well-being, etc. So if you're interested, then do pop over and see me there. Uh, Sarah says, dashed home from work and got there just in time. Loving the tights idea. Yeah, really, really like the resistance band workouts, Rachel. Thank you. Do you know, it's really interesting because um, so many people like the resistance band workouts. And when I used to teach them in London, they weren't that popular with the clients that I had in London. So it's really interesting to hear how many of you like it. So I'm definitely going to make more of them because I can see it's a, a really good one. And these, you know, they're so cheap, aren't they? You can take them anyway. You can take them on holiday if you feel inclined or if you're going away for a little while, throw it in your suitcase, takes up no room. 
And it's really, really great for the muscles because having that resistance band, it's much like working with a reformer. You, you have to kind of control the movement in both directions, don't you? So it really does give you this sort of long, lean muscle structure, which is what you will see with a lot of Pilates uh, teachers. Uh, Lynn Peoples, hello, Lynn. Lovely to see you. Lynn says, this was an amazing workout. I use small weights because I've misplaced my bands. I'm in California. Thank you, Lynn. What a great idea. Why not use it with weights? That sounds super. Really glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Kathy Freeman. Okay, everyone. Update on Kathy and using a pair of tights today uh, instead of a resistance band. So tights sort of worked. Band is better because I'm not so worried about ruining it. Oh, I get you, Kathy. But my goodness, well done you for improvising. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, hello to Casper Rini. Hi, Casper. Casper says, love this session. First time here. Welcome, Casper. Do come and see me again. I will be back the same time next week. So come and see me then when I'll have another workout. And again, it'll be something different for you guys. Uh, okay, Sue Sambles. Hello, Sue. Lovely to see you. Sue so says, thanks, Rachel, for another great workout. I discovered your 50-minute small ball workout yesterday and really enjoyed that. I can't always find the ball and band classes. Could you maybe file these together? That's a really good idea, Sue. So have a check, and I will, I'm going to make a note, Sue, and check where they are. But I've got a, um, I've got a playlist called... Pilates props. And in Pilates props is where I put Pilates workouts with bits of small equipment. So that's with this small ball, the resistance band, the magic circle or the Pilates ring, and also the foam roller. So have a look there. It's called Pilates props. But I'll think of maybe another way to file that and see if that works um, for you. So it was the ball and band workout. So I'll have a look, Sue, and see if I can make that a bit better for you. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Sue DePinto saying, I don't think my da mat dancing is as graceful as yours. Bless you, Sue. I'm sure you look fabulous. Uh, Lynn Peoples, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, much appreciated. And thank you so far to everyone else who's donated. Oh, Pe uh, Peggy Lancaster. Hi, Peggy. Nice to see you. Peggy says, good class. Have to tell you how much I've enjoyed the spinal mobility videos. I can see such improvement in my ease of mobility in other exercises. Peggy, that is brilliant. Yes, these are the standing ones I filmed, are they? They are really, um, yeah, they're really nice of just kind of targeting, aren't they, that center of the body. And I think um, for a lot of people, or what maybe a lot of people don't know, is to really unstiffen the spine. We always think, oh, we've got to roll forward, or oh, we've got to go back. But actually, rotation of the spine is what kind of loosens the spine. And anyone who's been to a chiropractor or an osteopath will know that often they're put in a position where they're slightly rotated before they manipulate them. That's because it's the way to kind of loosen all those joints. You think you've got one joint on top of the other like this. So doing this, moving them, rotating them, loosens everything up all the way along. And if you think all those vertebrae, if they're all moving really, really well, then the, the spinal cord, which goes through them, the nervous system, which passes through them, has got to be better. It's got to be functioning better, right? Because there's more space. There's no stiffness. There's nothing stuck. So it's kind of frees you up as well. So I'm really glad to hear that, Peggy. And thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, Alexandra Bone says, hi, Rachel, broken with habit to exercise in the afternoon. I enjoyed it, but rolling is impossible because of a S-shaped scoliosis. I can roll down, but not back. Okay, a bit cloudy in Ken. Okay, Alexandra. Well, you know what? It sounds like you've got a really, really good handle on what you can do. I know an S-shaped scoliosis is quite a difficult one to deal with. Have you seen my 
Pilates for Scoliosis workout, Alexandra. It might be, uh, if you haven't done it, you probably have already. But if you haven't, maybe go check that out and see if you're finding that helps ease some of that tension that you get with the with the S curve. Um, but I'm really impressed that you're doing what you're doing. This is brilliant. So yes, come back. Let's try and do some more, Alexandra. Keep going. Uh, Lynn Peoples, thank you so much for your donation, Lynn. Much appreciated. Uh, okay. And Sarah Runnicles uh, is saying, can you say hello to my work colleague and friend, Karen Murphy. So shout out, Karen Murphy. Sarah Runnicles wanted me to say hello to you. Uh, how are you doing? I hope you're well and I hope you've enjoyed working out with us today. Um, she says, please, we've only just worked out, we both follow you. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, hi to Karen Murphy. Karen, thank you for following me. And also Sarah Runnicles. Thank you very much as well. Uh, Vicky Davis is saying strength and chest as well as lower back. Thank you, Vicky. Absolutely. You know what, Vicky? Um, one that would be really good for you to do, I've already got on here, is a resistance band workout for the upper body. So if you put upper body workout with resistance band in my search bar, it should bring it up. It's a standing workout. It's quite a lot of moves that we were doing today. So with the band going out and back, which is st both stretching and strengthening your pectoral muscles, so these muscles here. But I'll certainly uh, add that to my list of filming. So thank you very much, Vicky, for letting me know. Uh, Chris Wears, hi, Chris. Uh, Chris says, I guess you missed my question regarding the brand of preferred band. Oh, sorry, Chris. I must have missed it. Yeah, I don't have a brand I prefer. Uh, I'm in the UK, as you know, Chris. So I bought this band that I have is from a company called Fitness Mad. Um, I don't know if they're out all over the world. I know they're UK based. But generally, I always think just go on Amazon and get a medium band. Yeah, medium works best. So medium is actually quite strong uh, for women on the upper body, uh, which is good because we need to work our upper body. Um, and it's really supportive on the legs and the abdominals. In terms of brands, to be honest, I've mostly used this one, Chris, because they're in the UK. They cost nothing at all, five pounds, six pounds, something like that. Um, the only thing I would say, Chris, is the length um, you want a band that's quite long. So can you see, I mean, I'm tall. Uh, so this band is probably, I mean, I'm five foot eight. This is nearly, this is nearly my, my height. So you want a long band. So if I would say anything, look for a long resistance band. I prefer a band without handles just because I find gripping on a handle and trying to do certain movements harder. So I would say just get a really plain bog standard band like this and that will do the job really nicely. I hope that helps, uh, Chris. Um, okay, going down, Vicky Davis says, love your instruction, teaching is amazing. Thank you so much, Vicky. Uh, thank you, I really appreciate that feedback. Daisy says, so glad to hear that you have a prop playlist. I love all workouts with props. Yeah, go and look at my Pilates props. And I promise you that as soon as I switch off now, I'm going to go through that playlist and make sure that all our um, resistance band, ball band, magic circle, they're all in there. Okay. Uh, super. Oh, and bar, of course, Daisy, you're the bar lover, aren't you? Yes, I remember. Okay, so going down the list, I think we're almost there. Calva, so Calva M says, thanks for another great workout. Love resistance band work. And I'm always amazed how much my arms feel worked afterwards. Yeah, I like to put in a lot of arm work when I'm doing resistance bands, uh, Calva, because for me, a lot of the Pilates mat work doesn't really 
work on my arms the way I would like them to be worked. And so I tend to do quite a lot with the resistance band. Uh, and you can see all of this sort of muscle tone. This is all resistance band. It's not, I don't do any weights at all. I only do lifting my own body weight. So press ups, that sort of thing. Um, but they, yeah, they do really, really well. Uh, Rastafari and Jedi, what a brilliant name. Hi to you. Hello, big wave to you. Uh, William, William says, good advice. Thank you very much, William. Uh, much appreciated. Okay, everyone. So I think we're there. I'm going to sign off and say thank you very much for joining me today. I will go and have a look at that Pilates props playlist. Do go check it out. I've got some lovely workouts on there. I've got a lovely one with a foam roller, uh, which I thought was a really good one to do. So do go and check that one out. And I'll be back for you the same time next week. So that's 4.30 UK time with a brand new workout. In the meantime, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Do go and check out my other workouts on the channel. There's lots of new workouts there for you to keep you all motivated and feeling good. All right. So look, have a wonderful, wonderful week, everyone. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.